in just a, in just a few minutes. This is the 12 inch. Yeah. That's the 12, yeah. That's our biggest seller. Yeah. But, yeah. but to be honest with you, when I came out with the 18, I didn't think, I thought I'd sell like one out of 20, but it's selling really yeah. well. All right, guys, welcome to, uh, to the show here, What Tools Inside. Uh, we have such an exciting program for you guys today. It's, it's really incredible. We got Bob here uh, from the Prozzy Bean Cutter. He's going to explain this incredible tool that is going to blow your mind. It's really something. Now, we met Bob years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right at a, at a trade show in Canada. Didn't yeah, you? yeah. That was really neat. We, we were actually at a trade show there. You were uh, neighbors. Yeah, we were neighbors. Yeah. I was in a different booth. And Bob was there, and he was he was showing off his uh, late. I think you were showing off your eighteen or yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is this is one tool booth that you cannot walk by that will stop yeah. you looking. He's always got <laughs> a crowd. He's always got a crowd. Yeah, always, always. Yeah. yeah. And because it's such a remarkable tool, because it's it, it's revolutionary in this industry for this kind of what you but yeah. what it does. So why don't you explain a little bit, Bob? Sure, sure. Well, having you here, we Bob. came out we came out with the original worm drive unit, the twelve inch. This unit here we came out with thirty years ago. Okay. And I basically started knocking on lumberyard doors. And I'd walk in, I'd have the beam cutter, the worm drive on a skill saw. Say, hey, I got this new product. Are you interested? He said, that can't work. And they'd say, bring that in the backyard. Let's see you cut this. And I'd go in the back. They'd hand me a 10 by 10. And I'd cut right through it. Give me, can you get me six yeah. of those? Yeah. I got customers that can use that all day long. Yeah. And it just grew and grew and grew. Yeah. And, um, but a lot, it's funny because the worm drive saw is very popular on the West Coast. And that's where we started. But then people on the East Coast didn't know what a worm drive saw was. And that's when we came out with the new non-worm drive unit. That's this unit here. Right. right. And that fits a standard circular saw. So for those just watching, then this is a chainsaw blade. That just attaches right on to your circular saw. Yeah. Yeah, well, and we came out recently with the 18 inch, which yeah. is selling incredibly. It's the only saw on the market that will cut up to 18 yeah. inches. There's yeah. a couple out there that will cut 16 inches. I've seen those big giant uh, skill saws. Uh, the key to circular saw, 16 inch. Yeah. But they only cut 7 inches. Right. This exactly. cuts a full 18 on yeah. a 90. 14, yeah. 14 inches on a 45. And you a special saw that you will never hardly ever use. You can take this off and put it on any... And what's great, it fits the new cordless. Yeah. This right. fits the new Makita cordless, the new um, DeWalt cordless, which guys now can go anywhere on a job site yeah. and, and cut away. Yeah. So, like, for instance, if you're cutting out even a fence post, a 6x6 six six fence post, right, when you have just a regular circular saw, you got to cut that four times. You can only go two and a half inches, inches right? Two and a half inches. And then you got that little nubby in the middle that you got to break off with a hammer. Yep. And that's a, that's a simple situation when you're in just cutting fence posts, for example. But when you have to cut through you know, posts and beam construction, or you're doing any kind of framing where you're cutting through I beams and things like that, where you need that that, that full de dimension. But you want accuracy. Yeah, you want accuracy. You want accuracy. Right, exactly. That's what this does this because this it's got about. the base plate. Basically, when I go in, I use it just like a regular saw. Yeah. Okay. But instead of two and a half inches. I now have 18, 18 inches. Yes. Well, and, and that's the other great thing, right? So because you're not always going to need this, but you're but you're going to need a skill saw. Everybody has skill saws. Everyone has a circular saw. So yeah. you take when you're not using this, you take it off and you put your blade back on. There's no, there's no other attachments besides this, besides this, right? Yeah, it's just the attachment. Three bolts, and you're in business. Yeah. And the other nice feature is it cuts the opposite direction of a chainsaw, which creates a pulling sensation. Huh. So as you see, when I start cutting yeah. with this. You'll see, I don't have to muscle it. The okay. saw does all the work, and we have a safety guard on the back, so there's no exposed chain to your body at right. all. Right, So, you want me to do a cut? Yeah, let's yeah, Sure, let's sure. Let's, 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 let's get our uh, glasses on here. Sure. Now, I'm going to go in, set it up. I could be at any angle now. I could go to a 45. Okay, so I'm going to, any, any angle your plate will, will perform, you can do. Okay, and I'm just going to go in. I just cut, I think that's about 16 seven, inches, 16, 17, 17 inches. inches. Yeah, 17 now, inches. Now, how else would you cut this normally? You <laughs> this you, is the, one at a time. 
And one at a time. Out, yeah. Mark it out. This is how it. clean that cut was, yeah. guys. It's not bad. It's not a circular saw finish. Pick up another one. But it's about on a scale of one to ten, it's about a five. Much yeah. cleaner than a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But I mean, right. If, but, but for framing purposes, it's, it's plenty good. Uh, and there you go. You're one done. Work, and then yeah. and, and that just saves you 20 minutes of cutting. Yeah. And look how, well, like, I, I mean, just using I wish I had my little square here, but you can see how, um, how that's, how that yeah. cut is even all the way along. Yeah. Guys will cut their stair stringers with them. Yeah. Um, it's just, I, I've seen like uh, guys cutting like eye beams in that. Uh, so because normally you would have like a chainsaw or whatever, and you just try to try to eyeball it going down. But with with this, they set it on the top a cord, and they can just cut right through right. it, and then they can cut a whole bunch of them at the same time. Just walk through the whole. whole this series. is and this is how easy it it goes on. So this is this is uh, you're gonna you basically take your circular blade off. This is the new one to walk cordless. Let's face this way so they sure. can see what we're doing. Sure, and you just slide it in through the top. You do have to remove the blade guard. With this one, I just. I just clipped just, off the little lip there, but you can take the guard off. And you just slide it in, pop it on. There's a bolt that goes here, and there's two bolts that go there, that go and there. that's it. That's it. That takes about takes about a minute and a half to install. So you wouldn't need to necessarily have a separate saw. You could just use the same saw you use on for Some all guys things. will. If they use it a lot, they'll yeah. dedicate yeah, it to sure. a saw. Other guys, they'll just, you know, take it on and off. Right. They, so, and, and so... Uh, what's the difference between a worm drive saw and a regular saw for those who are just... Sure, saw? worm drive saw is a heavier duty saw. It's heavier to handle. The blade is on the right hand, left hand side. On the left side, okay? okay. A standard circular saw is a lighter weight. Doesn't have quite have the same power, but right. it will work with the beam cutter. But the blade is on the right hand side. Okay, right. Okay? Now, on the, on our 18 inch beam cutter, to cut 18 inches, it requires a worm drive saw. Yeah, because you saw, like, this is this was 17 inches, and it, it was chewing through that no problem, but you could tell that if it was a smaller saw, a smaller motor, maybe it wouldn't have cut that. Uh, cut that yeah, piece. that's a lot. I mean, that, you're, you're talking about cutting through an awful lot of meat here. Yeah. Like, this is not something, like, you, you see people cutting through just a 2x4, two 2x6, two you know, they're buzzing through it quick, but that's because you're only going through an inch and a half of material. When you're going through 18 inches like this, that's going to be a slower... You know, exactly. pull through that. And you saw, I wasn't having to muscle no. it. If you've yeah. ever seen a guy use one of those big 16-inch circular saws, yeah, you got to, they got to put their yeah. whole body on it. And yeah. they'll, they'll kick back on sure. you. Yeah. There's no kickback at all. Uh, I, the I saw coming. the pressure you were putting on there was with your thumb. Yeah, just, yeah, just, just have to guide it. Just, just, just to guide it. it. Yeah, make it a little easier to so, control. Uh, it's, you know. And some guys will put a straight edge. If you put a straight edge, then you can just run it right along the straight edge. Yeah. You know? For the additional uh, accuracy. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this cuts, is impressive. How many cuts will this do? Hun hundreds of cuts. Yeah. Hundreds. I mean, if you're cutting railroad ties and the creosaw, sure, sure. that will eat it up more. I never thought of that. But railroad ties, what a great... Oh, great for land landscapers. Yeah, landscapers. Love it. Yeah. Absolutely. And the chain is resharpenable. It's not a standard chain you're going to find in uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, but they're, they're on Amazon, the yeah, replacement so chain. You get it next day. Most people who order the beam cutter will order an extra chain with it, just in case. Yeah. You're in the middle of a project. Something happens, you hit a nail, you know, you, you got to finish your project, you got an extra chain yeah. right there for you. Yeah. So, do you have warranties on these for those? Yeah, we, all our products come with a, the beam cutter comes with a two year warranty. Nice. And to be honest with you, we don't get many back. Yeah. The only thing that can happen is if you don't follow the instructions and install it correctly, you can blow out your bearing. Okay. And we tell you in the instructions okay. listen, this, make sure you put the washer on the bowl. You know, yeah, little yeah. things, yeah, yeah. but um, but really, we don't get that many back. I've got customers that bought their first unit 30 years ago wow. that I still talk to on the phone, yeah. still using the same original Prozzi beam cutter. Yeah. What, I, what I'd like to do is if you could take a minute to actually show us putting this. Sure. This part. We're going to turn sure. this a, minute, a little bit, Josh. Just get those out of the way there. And what we'll do, we'll put it over like this so you have more flat space to work on. Yeah. Let me okay. grab my, uh, my, my wrench. Right there. Yep. I got a little wrench right here with my bag. Oh, your bag's over oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Let them. me get it for you. And this will give you that way yeah. you can get what you need out of there. And uh, I want to I want to show the whole process of setting something like this up for the big one. This is a big one. It's not the little guy. It's a, it's a, it's an 18 inch. Sure. There's two three bolts. So what I'm going to do is there's two carriage bolts over here.
Take those off. Yep. He's using one of those. Uh, oh, the Gator Grip. Gator yeah, those Gator are pretty Gator handy because nice. they're nice. yeah very versatile. Yeah. So this is how. Now, if I was putting my circular blade back on and removing my beam cutter, this is the process I would go through. Right. And then, and of course, with the worm drive saw, the the screw is opposite. opposite. Yes. So yeah. you got to screw the screw opposite, and there's a little blade lock underneath. And it's kind of it don't messes with your head when you're trying when you have to do it like that because you you wanted the opposite to tighten. There you go. So this that's the main. This is it. Three that's, bolts. And that's the same bolt that you that, that's on. No, the this right? is a, we supply the bolt oh, for you. We supply a separate yeah. bolt for yeah. this. And it's a little longer. Exactly. So housing's, uh, housing's on it. But there you go. So this is your circular saw. This is what it normally looks like normally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The blade. So you take your circular blade off. Yeah. Pop the guard, drop it all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Take the beam cutter, you just slide it through the top. It, it clips right over the housing there. Yeah. And then take your left handed bolt. With your washer. It, yeah, with your washer. It comes with two bolts. One is for a, a skill worm drive or okay. a Bosch. And this black one is for the DeWalt okay, and the Okay, so if you have Nikita. a different, yeah, so you've different got the right saw, one yeah. for your saw. Is that, is that itemized in your construction? Yeah, it tells well? you exactly which bolt to use, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that in, and then I'm going to... So you don't tighten this down until I'm, you... When I'm all done. I get all my bolts in. And now yeah. I'm going to pop in my two carriage bolts. And those just go right on to, onto that. Right side. on. And I want to eyeball it to a 90 degree, all right? So you... Is it critical that it's 90 or if it's yeah, off? It's bit? off. It's, a, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I mean, if you were doing stair stringers, you'd want it to be perfectly I mean, you get your even. Speed because on there you yeah, and get it perfect. yeah. Right. Okay. But if you're just doing some rough cutting and that, you don't Rough cutting, yeah, you can. And I can, I'm not, I'm not tightening these right now. So um, I'm going to, I can adjust it. Yeah, that's, that's simple. Three bolts. Three bolts. Three bolts, and you got something that'll cut up to 18 inches. So now I'm going to eyeball it here. That looks perfect. Pop my blade lock down here. Yeah, really easy steps uh, to do this. I, I mean, why even have an extra saw? I mean, if you, I mean, if you had to. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're doing it a lot. Yeah, if yeah. you're doing it a lot, that, you know, all you're doing is railroad ties, and that's all the lumber you do, well, then you have a specific saw for the job. But if you're doing all sorts of different things, have it line up your things that you need to take out, take your frosty saw, cut it. So I'm done. That's, that's it. it. Ready, to go. Ready to go. So Bob, how how much is that? The, the uh, two two ninety five for the eighteen inch, one sixty nine for the twelve inch. Right. And they're available on Amazon. Um they're available on our website. Let's um, let me spin we've... this back around. Let's get another cut in so they can see that. Sure. And then I'd like to um just talk a little bit about, about other things on the market that are similar, but sure. not, not the same. Sure. Just so that people have a good idea of what's really going on here, what, what we're making. So here, let's have a little, you know, another demonstration. I think we're in the right spot there. Yeah. Uh, to show how this is. Do another cut. Now this is 18, uh, what, how, how deep? 16, 16, yeah, about 16 inches. 16 inches deep of material. That's insane, that's insane, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it is remarkable because of the, the amount of time it saved you. That's the piece you just cut off of there. It would have been it's, worse if all you cut. did was line up your wood, <laughs> put this on, and then take it back off. It still saved you time than having to cut it. You could never cut all of those in the same amount of time. Well, it's funny. When we first came out with it, we started our business in California. And out in California, the Skill 77 was the worm drive saw. Any job site you went on, everyone had a Skill 77. Came out with it, I started knocking on lumber yard yeah, doors. Yeah. And I, I told you a story going, and um, there was nothing out there at the time, nothing. And all of a sudden I was at a trade show and Skill was next to me. And I said, guys, hey, I got something. You guys could, you know, you could market this as an accessory. I'll never yeah. forget the head of Skill looking at that and saying, no one would ever buy that. Yeah. No one would. Well, today now, Skill has come out with a whole dedicated unit. It's a beautiful unit. It's not cheap, 
but it's not it's not an attachment right, that right. fits any yeah. saw. You have to buy the whole the saw. Dedicated saw. Yeah, it's um you know it's expensive. There's exactly, a company exactly out, opposite of what the right. You were approaching yeah, the thirty. Other. It took them thirty years yeah, to yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah. But my fell out of Germany. They make a unit. It's thirty eight hundred dollars. It's beautiful, right. but it's thirty eight hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you know, not everyone has that kind of money. Right. Yeah. And um, it takes you a lot of jobs to pay something like that off. Whereas whereas the the beam cutter here, you're, you're looking at a few hundred bucks. Not yeah. Even, right? what is yeah. Well, one sixty nine for the twelve inch, two ninety five for the eighteen inch, and now you've got yeah, yourself. It's the saw you already have in your garage or in your job site. A Makita beam, sixteen inch beam saw, sells for a thousand dollars. Yeah. It only cuts seven inches. You're looking at right here three hundred. You're looking at a total of yeah. under six under six hundred dollars. Right that's here. that's if you saw, don't have a saw. You need to buy a saw. Yeah. yeah. If board. you don't have a saw, you need right. to go out buy everything. But, but for the manufacturer, or for the for the contractors out there that already have all the saws, and they're cutting all these one by one, they're just, and they're lining it, this is what you need. Yeah. This, okay, this, so, this, but, okay, but let's talk about the 12 inch for a second. Sure. So the, the 12 inch, um, the cost on this? 169. 169. 169. That's our non-worm drive and this unit. will that, fit standard, on a standard cordless yeah. saw. Okay, standard, so Nikita, DeWalt. So you got you got you know maybe maybe you're you're looking to buy a gift for for you know your your husband or whatever for his garage. Uh, so he has so the projects around the house. Maybe he's cutting fence posts or maybe he's you got a little project. In the he's backyard. got an old craftsman sitting around. Yeah. This will fit it. Fit right on it. Yep. See yeah. that that's the difference. And and what's what's really incredible is that this is all connected with just with the new battery powered systems, all the cordless systems. It's not it's not like a plug-in unit. Nope. Right, totally, totally, I can go anywhere on a job it's, site it's, with it. You have to plug in. Yeah, the, the competition. The, the, all, the all the other units that are complete units, you have to plug in. With ours, if you have a cordless saw, you yeah. can go anywhere on a job site with it. I noticed. Now look at what, the, 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 like a normal chainsaw. There's a lot more tension yeah. in the blade. So why you know, it, it runs at half the RPM of a chainsaw. So really, with a chainsaw, you have to be very perfect to how the tension is. Right. With this, you really don't because it's running at a much slower speed. It doesn't get hot like a chainsaw. People ask about an oiler on it. Right. Well, you really don't need an oiler. If you're cross-cutting like I'm doing, it works fine. Now, if yeah. you're ripping a 20-foot beam, get a can of silicone spray, give it a shot every two right. or three sure. feet. But yeah. a lot of guys like not having an oiler system because a lot of guys are, cu are cutting finished wood. Sure. And they don't want oil dripping yeah. on that wood and staining yeah. the wood. So, You, you know, know, I was just thinking, Josh, how, how you know, the... Um, you see a lot of guys on the, doing the projects now where they're cutting logs down in slabs, yeah. right? To make these tables and that kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Like their own personal little mill. But you can have your own wood mill. What they do is they, like they, put, they put a board down yeah. on, on the top of the log and they put a, a straight edge down to run the plate along and then they use it kind of like a sawmill. Yeah. And they just run down. There's a guy named Izzy Swan. Yeah, he's, Izzy's great. Oh, he's yeah, great. He's he built a sawmill with our beam cutter, and he's, his YouTube video on that has gone viral. Yeah. I think it's had a million views. Yeah. And it's amazing. It's, yeah. it's an actual very, sawmill. Very oh, he does some incredible stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, he's, I, I, yeah he's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, and, and for a very small amount of money, a person can have a product like this to have their own little wood mill in their backyard. Yeah. And that's, and that's what's very unique about this. Using the existing tools they have, they buy this piece, and now they can start making some of the very custom uh, tables and, and, and craft like that, that that you see happening on social media. It's perfect for a hobby. And well, you yeah. saw when I'm using it, there's no exposed chain to your body. Yeah. yeah. The chain, you're totally protected. There's yeah. no no kickback. Does this also act as a kind of a guide as it's well? It's a guide. helps maintain a straight line. Yeah, because when you try to cut with a chainsaw, you're kind of like this yeah. normally. You know, yeah. you're kind of at the, at the depending on how you Mercy of your wrist. Yeah, your wrist. Exactly. yeah, exactly. Exactly. So something like this will help keep that... Keep that edge nice and straight. So in order to tension this blade or change the tension, this is the right here. Bolt. This bolt here, you loosen up and you just pull down on the bar. Yeah, and and you don't and you don't have to remove the beam cutter to do yes, that. You just loosen great. that up and pull down. Right. And now to sharp, Shar it sharpens like a regular blade. If okay. you know how to sharpen yep. a chainsaw blade, you can sharpen this. We actually offer a sharpening kit, okay. but a lot of guys already have a sharpening. Yeah, kit. Yeah, they got something kicking yeah. around that they can use. Yeah. Uh, and then and then they did buy a replacement blade if, if it gets to a point where they need to place or they break the chain or, or things like that, right? And they're made right here in Miami. Oh, oh really? Yeah, we make them right nice here. And close. Right here in but, Miami. But now this isn't the only thing that, that, uh, that you're going to show us today, right? No, oh, yeah, no, no. Okay, We've so got some. We get some. We around. get some other other cool. I want to turn this so that you can come on this side and, and sure. show the. Oh, you want to go the other way? Yeah. Okay. Move this. There we go. Okay. There we go.
There we go. So let's just clean some of this off, and then you can kind of give a sure. Got a whole wood mill going here, guys. You'll have lots of sawdust after. So hand me a piece of wood, would you? Is there yeah. one on the floor yeah. there? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We came out. This is this is really cool. We, we're working on getting national distribution. We're in all the Lowe's stores now with it, but it's the Sharp Draw Carpenter's Pencil. And it's the only pencil that allows you to never need sharpening. It never has to be sharpened. It's made in the USA. The pencil blade itself is. But that pencil, never you never have to sharpen it. And one pencil blade will last four to six months. So how is it? How do you manage that? Because it normally it's what happens is it's all up on the end around the thickness, it, right? The thickness is always the same. So as it wears, it just keeps wearing back and back. And it's like a nine millimeter knife. It yeah. just clips out further and further and further. And it's actually got a snap off on it. So you can actually snap off a piece and go to the right. next one. But to be honest with you, I never snap it off. I just keep using it right. like that. And we just came out. A lot of guys had wanted something more industrial, really heavy duty for the serious contractor. Yeah, right. We haven't, oh. we're, we're, we're in the process of presenting oh. this to Home Depot and Lowe's, but it's, a, it's. I really it's, like that. Yeah, this is. It just feels better in your hand. Yeah, and I mean, you're used to that. Heavy, it's the same pencil line. It's the same, it's the same pencil, much, it's much bigger, yeah. much longer life on it. Yeah. Very, very durable. This is for the serious contractor. And, and look at the line difference, the, 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 for those that need a darker line, or, yep. or you know, you, maybe this is perfect for finished carpet, yep, right. trim work, or yep. that. But this is what you would want for when you're working on, you know, doing that rough so, carpentry. What's really handy about the smaller sharp draw as well is that this fits in the pencil slots. Right. Like exactly. Like exactly. That. This would normally have to go where your blade. Right. Or this could throw right into your tool spot, pouch. Yeah. It's very, it's very rugged. I mean, you can see, yeah. see how strong yeah. that is. Yeah, that's a part made out of polypropylene. The frame yeah, there's is. No bend, there's no, there's there's no, no bending. You're not going to break that. And we're really excited about that. We when went, do you figure that one's going to be out? Right we're going to, we're going to, well, we're just waiting to land a deal with, with somebody major. Okay. And, nice. but we're hoping to have it out by the end of the year. Um, right. But these right now are, are available. These are available at all the lows. We're working on getting it into Home Depot. It's available on Amazon. Um, it's available on Amazon. Right here in, right yeah. here in the carousel. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the new quick draw knife. And basically this is a utility knife that's very unique and different in that a lot of guys, when they pull out their knife out of their belt or tool belt, they just want to make a quick cut. Yeah. Okay? So you can just pop the blade out. It's like a little do box you, cutter. So you got a little box cutter, exactly. But a lot of guys want need more leverage, okay? Well, I can pull that blade back. And again, you have to retract the blade to do this, but I can now flip it open like a switchblade, yeah. although yeah. there's no right. there's no blade, so it's not a switchblade. Yeah. We can yeah. sell these in New York. Yeah. And now you push the blade out. Now you've got a heavy duty industrial knife. Yeah. Um, so it won't flip open with the blade open? It won't. With, you cannot close you that with the blade. So, that, so it instantly it, locks the second Exactly. The it will not open or shut unless that blade is all the way retracted. Right. It has to be back all the way. That's a safety feature. It's got a quick change blade change on it. Takes all standard utility blades. Cool. Okay. You just press but, that. The press that little button right just there. Just that little button on the end. It's got a wire cutter. Let's, let's, let me let's bring it up here. Let me just show them real quick here, so they can see it. It's got a wire cutter built into it. So this right here is is how the uh, little, button how that, there. little button right here. You depress that, and that blade changes. Yeah, it. I like how quick that is because then you can just flip it open. You all you have that sharp edge. Exactly. It has to be down in order to close. Yeah, I wasn't down all the way. I was down to this point. It won't. And it, it wouldn't close. close. Yeah. See, I couldn't, it it's a safety feature built into it. All the way it. down, locks. You can close it. Open it up. There's no cast aluminum on that knife. Hmm. It's quality made. Okay. Nice. You, yeah. you go into most stores and look at knives. They're all made out of cast aluminum. There's no cast aluminum to this. And so what's the price here on Amazon for that? You're looking at, at, at about 30 bucks for okay. this knife. Yeah. yeah. Now, not only does it take all standard knives, okay, but watch this. It also will take our snap-off blade. And with the snap-off right. blade, you can pop the snap-off blade in, use it like a regular utility knife, but when that blade gets dull, you just pop it out. Right here, there's a little snap-off. Snap it off. Oh. You can do that. Instead of slamming it against you've, the wall. You've or got move. five blades now. Yeah. So yeah. you basically yeah. replaces five blades. When that gets dull now, I can pop it out. Do the same thing. Same thing. Push the button out. 
Put it back in. I like that snap feature I'm, because I hate snapping those blades. I'm ready. I'm you ready to go. Perfect. Exactly. You're snapping them when you're trying to shield yourself from the. Yeah, exactly. The up. And and you'll notice that because you can, this blade will move in different positions. Most snap-off blades you use on a utility knife are totally exposed. So when you put pressure on yeah, them, they'll snap sure. off accidentally. Yeah, yeah. With this here, oh, yeah. when nice. I'm using it, you can't snap that off because it's enclosed inside yeah. the chamber. Yeah. And then guys who are cutting a lot of insulation. We have an insulation blade. This yeah. For cutting two-inch insulation. Pop it in. Some very unique blades that are offered. But again, right. it takes all standard what blades. What is this kind of blade here? What that's, is it used for? That's our Tinto blade. That's kind of, yeah, it's, yeah, it will do anything. You can saw with it. You can cut with it. It's designed, uh, it's, these blades are very popular in Japan, but it's a very aggressive blade. You can yeah. penetrate drywall with yeah, it. Yeah, it's got like a point, fine point. Exactly, and those are available. So like when you're cutting, cutting a box out of it, you just slide right in and then yeah. saw it down. And it's funny, most guys who buy our knife will buy, will buy the specialty blades too. Yeah. They yeah, may not sure. use them all the time, but it's nice just to have. Uh, yeah. Um, Another nice feature is when you're using the blade, a lot of times you don't want the blade all the way exposed out. You just wanna, if you're cutting boxes open, no, you don't wanna damage yeah, what's damage inside the box. Sure. I can lock that at an eighth of an inch. So I can cut now and that's it. I can put pressure on it. Yeah. It locks in three different positions, eighth inch, quarter inch, and half inch. And then fully yeah. exposed. Yeah, and fully exposed. So. Very nice. Yeah, how smooth that yeah, is. Yeah, it does have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, smooth action to it. And it closes up nice. Yeah. The side All FRN handles. But then Go once it's open, you've got, a, you've got a really good, comfortable grip. It's yeah. long. I feel like it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's... I like the length of it when it's fully open. I would use it more fully open than closed. And pull the pressure on that clip, that pocket clip, and feel how strong that pocket clip is. Yeah. That pocket clip is really, really strong. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, fall off. this is well put together for sure. Now, did you come up with this 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 idea? That uh, this was my this was my partner um, who came up with this design for the pencil, and we launched it at the um, we launched the wood wood um, model for fine woodworking. We make two. I remember that one. We yeah, make the heavy duty, and we make a fine line one for fine finished woodworkers. Right. We launched it at the um, International Home Builder Show about five years ago. And it just, since then, it just, it just took off. And we've mm. sold, you know, Lowe's, Lowe's is our biggest customer. And, and they sell a lot of mm. these. It's one of the days of trade shows right now, isn't it? I know, I, I, I miss you it. To, you go to a lot of trade shows. I, right? I know, I used to do about eight, eight, ten trade shows a year. A year. And yeah, uh, wow. it's, I do miss them. Yeah. Because it's a great way to get your product in front yeah. of customers. Yeah. Um, now, we're, um, we're a, a politically neutral channel. But you have a very interesting shirt on. That <laughs> I'll tell you the story of this, <laughs> okay? I've never, ever been told that I look like Joe Biden. And I was at the Home Builder show, and somebody, one of the, um, one of the media guys came in and did an Instagram thing yeah, with me, yeah. demonstrating the beam cutter. And it went viral. I mean, yeah. in one hour, it hit 100,000 shots. And every other comment was, who let Joe Biden yeah, use yeah, a yeah, chainsaw? Yeah, yeah. Who let... And all of a sudden, all these people thought I was Joe Biden. So it's my wife. I told my wife, and she goes, I never saw it. And then all of a sudden, it's all, I got the shirt. And when I'm at a trade show, it's funny because, yeah, right. especially with the aviator glasses. Yeah. No, but, but, <laughs> I think he's there. Running for president, but at the same yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Don't confuse better. me with the vice president. <laughs> well, yeah, this, uh, this has been awesome. I mean, like, I, it's the first time I saw this, I was so impressed. I've always, I've always wanted one. I, I wish I did more woodworking, you know, than, than I do, but the, it, it's a remarkable product. For the time that it saves you, the money yeah. that you, that you, you make back the money in your first couple jobs, if that's, you know, if you're using it all the time. And the applications are limitless. Yeah. yeah. We saw when they redid the Constitution in Boston, they redid it about 10 years ago. They bought a dozen of my beam cutters. Yeah. And they used them, it was a three-year project. They completely restored the U.S. Constitution in Boston Harbor, yeah. and they've used. Oh, I actually have photos in my office of them using oh, a beam cool. cutter to rebuild. But oh, um, cool. yeah, it's um, it's had a lot of different applications. Guys cut ice blocks with it. I've got a customer. Oh, that's cool. yeah, yeah, ice sure, blocks. Sure. 
uh, modular modular homes. Yeah. They're a big customer. But like you look at a wall like this, right? I mean, you got uh, a dozen two by fours, but it, it, you know they're all going to be the same length. Perfect. Just put it up and just cut them all. Yeah. Yeah. Done. And then you, you move on and put it together. You're saving time. I just think yeah. that it's it, it, you just save so much even time. with a even with a uh, when you're building and you're making a header. Like or, or a parallel beam or, or some sort of a laminated beam. Yeah, sure. When you when you uh, have those, you know it's so much easier to cut with with a, with the beam cutter as opposed to trying I to cut two it. sides yeah. or, or you know. I've had wives. I've or, had wives call me to order this for their husband, and the husband had wanted a chainsaw, and the wives did not want their husbands to use a chainsaw. And they literally had come yeah. across the beam cutter. Yeah. And, yeah. And, well, it's, it's because so you know, I've seen guys use chainsaws in, in, yeah. in, in rough construction. Yeah. Sure, you yeah. know, but but yeah. why would you ever do that if you had something like this? Yeah, and that's the point. And you don't have to go out and spend, you know, four or five hundred dollars on a, on a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. When you can use an attachment like this for your... For your and stuff. we ship them everywhere. We ship them to Australia. We ship them to Israel. We ship them yeah. to Europe. Um, I mean, it's great because... Because it fits on everybody's saw. Yeah. yeah. A worm driver, a regular saw, just to pick your size and. and, and I want to you know. see another demonstration. I mean, Absolutely. We have, we have enough, we have do I have enough wood here? I think I do. I, I can squeeze another cut in. Let's turn this around. Yeah. And let's let's get another cut in for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I won't cut. Right. I won't cut your table in half. <laughs> no, I don't think so. If we have enough. Yeah, I think there's enough meat on there. Yeah. Enough room. Let me get my glasses on. Are we ready to roll? I think we're ready. All right. Let's do let's it. Cut here. Right there. Because this is a nice saw. Because it's I mean, look, we, we, we cut all this. And how many more of those cuts? There? I mean, you do this all day. I so. do at a trade show. I can go almost an entire, a busy show where I'm doing lots of cuts, almost an entire day with these two, um, two batteries. 18 volt batteries. How do you guys come yeah. this uh, yeah. just a bit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, so that. It, when they came out, when they came out with the cordless, of course, at trade shows, it saves me a lot of money because yeah. I don't have to hire electricity anymore. Yeah. Because I've oh, got yeah, I've sure. got charged batteries, and at yeah. trade shows they charge you three hundred dollars for power. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it was real, so, uh, yeah, so it's expense. it's great. But this is oh, yeah, I mean this is just a I mean look nice clean level cuts guys. And you get you get a little fringe on top well, if the wood is dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, but you a lot a lot of guys will just score a line with a razor blade. Then you don't get any scoring yeah. at the top. Oh, that's yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but but again, if you're for just rough construction, that doesn't matter. It doesn't, no. That part of it doesn't matter, no. yeah. But if you're going to be cutting some really, you know, nice beams and you want it to look right, really exactly. good, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Extra cautious. Yeah, but, uh, now, I would have loved, loved to have this when I was building my, uh, uh, my uh, well, uh, pavilion. I was building with all the uh, 8x8 beams, and, uh, and it was a challenge. No, it wasn't 8x8, it was 6x6. 6x6. Six six six. Six. It was still a challenge using, uh, you know, because then you had to saw certain ones off, and yeah. this wouldn't. And it's again, if I if I, if I was using a Makita, the biggest saw they make is that 16-inch Makita beam saw. It's yeah. about this big. It's got a huge blade on it. If I was using that to cut this, I'd only be cutting to this distance. Yeah, no, I know. Cut That's it. Through. That's yeah. it. It's a 16-inch blade, but it only cuts seven inches. It yeah. doesn't cut the entire. With this cut yeah. being the full. The full thing. So this is the 18-inch, and That's it's the, going goes for 295. 295. And, and, this fits, and this fits worm dry. All worm dry saws. DeWalt, Bosch, Makita, um, Skill. And, and you have a, a different attachment for the bolts and that. For depending they on all the, come with it. The bolts come with it. Right, when but, you, they're, but they're a different one depending on the... Depending what saw, what you, saw have. you have. Yeah, if you're what, using what the DeWalt, you would use this this black one. If you're using the Skill, you'd use the other one. Right, you okay, know? gotcha. And then this is our 12-inch. Yep. This is our non-worm drive unit. But and it will also work on a worm drive. No, well, no, 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 no. The... the 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 this one here only fits a non worm drive saw. Okay. And you okay. just slide it in, pop it in. One bolt here, and then two bolts here, right. and you're in business. Okay. Takes I, I, for for a guys, generally I, I would imagine the twelve 
inch is probably all you're really going to need for the majority. You of You know, the it's majority. funny because when we when we came out with the 18, we thought that we'd only sell one to 20 of the yeah, 12 inch. Right. But I got to tell you, we sell, we're really? selling. I would say we're selling for every five of the 12 inch. We sell. We you're sell. Good. Yeah, wow, it's going to go. Guys, just thinking, you know, I'll spend a little bit more sure. money in case I ever need that extra, extra six uh, inches layer. of cutting sure. capacity. I have it, you know. If they've got yeah. the worm drive stuff. If they have the worm drive, yeah, so, like, yeah. You wouldn't have been able that's to cut an, this. That's an no. important yep. thing. For those of you watching, that's an important thing to understand. The 12 inch fits the yep. non worm drive saws. And the worm drive. We made two different and, models. Oh, different models. Yeah, okay. two different models. But uh, the 18 inch is only for worm drive. Only worm drive. They need the extra power. Yeah. The torque, I guess, is what it really And they don't be. all call them worm drive. Some call hype. Makita yeah. calls his hype boy, but you know because the blade is on the left hand side. Right, right, yeah. right. And it's yeah. got, it, right, yeah. right. And, and, pe you, and people, we, we respond immediately Instagram, uh, Facebook, emails. If somebody has a question yeah. and they're not sure, they email, hey, I have this certain saw. I have guys send me pictures of the saw. I can immediately tell you yeah. whether our beam cutter fits your saw. Sure. So. I just wanted you to show off your, your other little parts just quickly so they can, those sure, who are just sure. tuning in now can see. We got the quick draw knife, quick and easy, high quality. Lots of safety features. High quality, so like, a lot of safety yeah. features. Um, is there, you said that it was, what are these ones here? Now this is for your breaking off That's blade. for snapping off the snap off blade and that's a wire cutter. Right. You have to cut a piece of wire or something right, right. on the table. And then of course the pencils that never need sharpening. And so, and look how easy it is to change. When it wears out and you need to buy, you can buy the three pack of refills. That's easier. Yeah. You just pop it out, put the new one in, slide it in, yep. put the pocket clip back on. Never have to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's how it goes on. Yeah. This one here has got a very heavy duty. And this one, and this one here is for the, for the heavier pencil he lines. Heavy framers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's going to be a, it's a couple dollars more than this unit here, right. but and it'll be available soon. Soon by January, yeah. All so right, we're really excited. Well, we had a, such a great time having you on. Hey, here thanks for inviting. It's great to see you guys. So yeah. this is the first time I've been out of our warehouse yeah. in yeah. in months. I know. I mean, now that there's, uh, things are starting to ease up here in Florida for us, it's been finally good to be able to get back together and do some yeah. research. So. Well, I'm, um, I can't wait to get back on the show circuit. Yeah, I thought about that. Like, you must really miss the trade shows. I, that's, I, I that's do. Your element, I sure. really do. I mean, it's, it's great to be out there with the, with the end users and yeah. talk to them. And, sure. Uh, well, until we, can, until we can be back there again, you know, we'll have to keep doing these kinds of uh, little shows and, and uh, get people to still see the tools that are out there and available. Yeah. So, thanks for joining us today, Hey, Bob. thanks, guys. Awesome to see, to see you. Yeah. And thanks for joining us, guys, on Amazon today. We appreciate you coming on with What Tools Inside. Matt, Josh, I'm here with Bob today. As a special guest, we talked about the Prozzi Beam Cutter. You can buy them right now in the, in the carousel below. Uh, you have all these tools that we talked about, too, the quick draw knife and the pencils, all yeah. available for you guys to purchase, the 18 and the 12. Uh, so take a look. And the spread while the iron's hot. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, we'll see you next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Take care. Nice job. Really uh, enjoyed having you on.